we're going to start out with first is the Super Bowl, the preview slash prediction part of this episode. I know a lot of people are very hyped about this game, including myself, Tom Brady versus Patrick Mahomes, the two best quarterbacks of all time, arguably, when it's all said and done. We know Tom Brady right now is a GOAT, but Patrick Mahomes, if he wins the Super Bowl, he can very well have a a seat at the table of the GOAT discussion. And in your opinion, Jack, who do you think has the edge in this game? It, it, it's neck and neck. Like, it doesn't get much closer than this. We saw them play earlier on in the season, and the Chiefs came firing out of the gates, and the Bucks made the late comeback. They are two teams that are red hot. They're playing great football. They've strolled through the playoffs, and I'm really excited to watch it. I think it could go either way, but I'm going to give the Chiefs the slight edge. I just feel like Patrick Mahomes is on his own level right now, and that's no disrespect to Tom Brady, but it, you could go through every group, and I feel like neither team has a huge advantage in any position. It, even when it comes to coaching on the sideline, both of these teams are solid everywhere, but I think that Patrick Mahomes is going to be the difference maker at the end of the day. I can get on board with that, but for me, as somebody who picked the Tampa Bay Buccaneers to win the Super Bowl, to make the Super Bowl, and I'm all in on this Bucks team, I am very frightened of the Kansas City Chiefs because Patrick Mahomes seems to be invincible when it's playoff time. This playoffs alone, he has 580 yards, four touchdowns, zero interceptions, and Tyreek Hill and Kelsey both have 200 yards receiving. The one thing that can deter the Chiefs from this amazing run that they've been on is their offensive line. Right now, this is their offensive line heading into the Super Bowl. Mike Remmers, who's starting at left tackle, he has zero snaps at left tackle this season. Nick Allegretti, he's an okay player. Austin Reitler, he's an okay player. Stephen Steven Wisinski, he has one game at right guard. He's going to be starting at right guard for them. And Andrew Wiley, their starting right tackle, he has only had one game at right tackle. So this is a very discombobulated offensive line right now. They don't have Coleccio Semele. They don't have um, Mitchell Schwartz. So it's going to be tough for them. And we know that Tampa Bay is great at rushing the passer. So that can be a major cause of concern in Brady versus Mahomes so far. They're 2-2, two and two, 120 team total points for Mahomes, 121 team total points for Brady. But in terms of touchdowns and interceptions, it's not even close. Patrick Mahomes has 11 touchdowns to three interceptions, and Brady has six touchdowns to five interceptions. So this is a very close call matchup. And I think the key to this game is which offense can move down the field more consistently. I think in this playoffs alone, the, the Chiefs have about six, six drives that ended in a touchdown when they were when they had a drive down the field 75 plus yards or more. The Bucs have zero. I was I tried to re rewatch the Bucs and Chiefs game earlier this season. That happened earlier this season. I was unable to because Game Pass was being being very annoying. But watching that game back, the Bucs started out really slow and they came alive late. If they start out slow in this game, I don't I think they're gonna get blown out. They can't start out slow in this game. A hundred percent agreed. And I think that Todd Bowles has done a spectacular job with that Buccaneers defense this season. And I don't think he makes the same mistake twice. Arguably one of the most hilarious mistakes of the entire season was putting Tyree kill in single coverage to start the game. And we know how that, that ended up probably the greatest first quarter in NFL history by a receiver. And that kind of set the tone for the rest of the game. And the Chiefs slowed down, but they just couldn't catch up to that first quarter dominance of the Chiefs. I think that Todd Bowles is going to learn from that mistake. They're going to come in with a better defensive game plan this game. And you mentioned it before when you were talking about the Chiefs offensive line. They're a different group. And, and continuity on the offensive line is so important, especially come playoff time. And even more so facing such a great Bucks front attack. And they're going to bring pressure. There's no question about it. It's going to be about Patrick Mahomes, getting out of the pocket and making plays on the run, which we know he can do. He just has to do it. So I think it's going to be interesting to see if the Bucks defensive front can catch up to Mahomes, bottle him up, and don't let him make plays with his legs or outside of the pocket. 
Yeah, and for me, this is a very hard game to pick or to root for one team because I love Tom Brady, but I love Patrick Mahomes. Like before Tom Brady, Patrick Mahomes was my favorite quarterback in the NFL for the past two seasons. I'm all in on Mahomes. I think he's going to go down as the greatest quarterback to ever play the game. At least with the eye test so far, me personally, I think he already is that. When you talk about accomplishments, of course, that's Brady. So for me, this is very hard to pick. And we talked about the pass rush being a vital part of the Buccaneers' chances to win. But I think another thing is that their offense has to start clicking. And we've seen it. I think they got kind of bailed out against the Packers because every single first down, we saw it against the Packers. It was a run, 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 run. There was no... There was, there was really no creativity on the offensive side of the ball on first down, and I feel like that's where the Bucs have to be good. They're lucky because Brady bailed them out on a lot of third downs, and the team called great plays on third downs. But in terms of first downs, it just can't be runs, and you can't just recycle that play over and over again. Yeah, and I wouldn't expect to see as many mistakes out of the Chiefs as you did out of the Packers. They they had a couple unforced errors, whether it was fumbles, the Scotty Miller touchdown before the end of the half, the management towards the end of the fourth quarter. The the Packers really fumbled that game away, no pun intended. And that's not to say the Bucs didn't play a great game because they did and they deserved to win. But the Packers also had a very real chance to win and they were just the team that made more mistakes. And I don't think the Chiefs are going to do that same thing I feel like it's one of those games where, you know, even though you want your team to be in the Super Bowl, of course, it's going to be good to not be a fan of either of these teams. So you could just take it in, soak it in, enjoy it. Tony Romo kind of alluded to it earlier this week. This is the legacy matchup. If Patrick Mahomes wins wins this Super Bowl, you know, I, I know it's a bit of a narrative, but he could be well on his way cementing himself into that category of, of a legitimate top five quarterback ever. But, you know, he loses this game, and that's always going to hang over his head. Tom Brady got him in the Super Bowl. Even at 40 years old, he was able to get the Young Bucks. So it's going to be that legacy matchup. This is one that will not be forgotten anytime soon. You'll be hearing about this game until Patrick Mahomes retires. Whichever way it goes, I'm going to go with the Chiefs. I'm sticking with the Chiefs in a very close game, though. So I think... I'm going to go with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I'm not going to flip-flop my pick once a team has made it to the Super Bowl. I knew that this was a very likely possibility that this was going to be the matchup, the Chiefs versus the Bucs, right? There's going to be 25 to 30,000 fans in the stands at Raymond James Stadium, Tampa Bay Buccaneers home stadium. So they're going to have a home crowd. And I just think that the Tampa Bay Buccaneers will win this game. I don't want to bet against Mahomes and the Chiefs, and even if they win the game, I won't be mad. But I just think when you look at what team is more healthy, it's the Bucs. Antoine Winfield is coming back. You got Vita Vea with two weeks of rest now, who played a little bit in the NFC Championship game. He's one of the most dominating defensive tackles in the league right now. Shaq Barrett was phenomenal. He's going to do his thing. Jason Pierre-Paul and Adamic and Sue. Like, they have guys up front. I think Todd Bowles is going to make a good game plan to disguise his defenses. He's not going to rely on man so heavily and leave his corners on islands. Because of that, I think the Tampa Bay Buccaneers will win, but it's going to be a really close game. I respect it, and and you shouldn't change your pick at this point. You know, you've been riding with the Buccaneers since the preseason, and if they win, that's, uh, that's a great call by you. Even the fact that they got here, like, I don't think that losing to the Chiefs in the Super Bowl would be a bad thing by any means. Obviously, you want to win, but I would consider this season a success either way. 